After massive flooding swept through eastern Kentucky July 28th, Heinemann Settlement School opened its doors to flood victims and became a distribution center. You know, there weren't a lot of other outside resources here, and so we did pretty much everything. Um, we had uh, some of our supporters bring truckloads of supplies. I remember we got, you know, two loads of, two pallets of bottled water, and my first thought was, how in the world are we ever going to get rid of all this water? Because I didn't really understand how widespread the devastation was. I was just really you know, looking at right here on our campus. Uh, but all that water was gone in a matter of an hour and a half. The school also housed displaced residents until travel trailers and other lodging became available. While the school has been offering aid and distributing supplies to the community since the flooding began, they are also working to repair damage to the school and the archives. We've been really focused on helping the community uh, up till now, but now that things are, are stabilizing, we'll probably start focusing on recovering uh, a lot of our office records and, and parts of our uh, archives that have been placed in, in freezers and now that we'll, we'll have space to work on it, we'll probably start shifting towards that. My name is Aaron Crump, Chief Medical Officer at Pikeville Medical Center. The Heart and Vascular Institute, it's really an incredible program. Made incredible because of the providers, because of the technology, and because of the staff. Uh, we've truly become the leading provider of heart and vascular services in Eastern Kentucky. And in fact, what we do compares to anywhere in the nation. Pikeville Medical Center, when it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. As Heinemann Settlement School continues the restoration process on various structures and 90% of their damaged archives, Anderson wants to remind people that recovery will be ongoing for years. You know, it, it's just, the only thing that I see is that it's gonna be a, you know, a very long process to recover. I think there's a lot of attention given in the first month when there's mud in, in the buildings, and, but I think people tend to forget about uh, flood victims a, a year or two after the fact. But you know, emotionally, physically, economically, I think this, this region has been very hard hit, uh, and so I hope people remember that, uh, that, that the struggle will continue for quite some time. For more information on Heinemann Settlement School and their services, visit Heinemann Settlement School on Facebook. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.